In the new version of Affinity, we have the different studios and you can think of these as workspaces. So here you can see I'm in the Vector Studio. This is kind of like Adobe Illustrator. We have the Pixel Studio, which is like Photoshop. And we have Layout, which is like InDesign. And we do have some other ones up here that we can turn off and back on. And if you're finding that this is taking a little bit of getting used to switching between these three, well, we can actually customize them. So what we can do is we can right click and go edit Vector Studio, and you can choose how they're presented, whether you want the icon and the text, or maybe just the icon only. And if we go and enter this, what we could do is we could actually rename this. That's the wrong app, Dan. <laughs> Illustrator, there we go. And we could choose a different color. So we could pick one here. Or we could go and add our own color. Let's go for a punchier orange. There we go, very nice. And we could pick a different icon. Or what you can do, just to make things a bit easier, is you can download the icon pack that I've linked in the video description. You can see we have one for Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop. Now these are transparent PNGs. And what we can do is if I grab the Illustrator one first of all, we just have to drag the icon onto here and it will add our own icon. Now we can't see anything at the moment. So let's go ahead and click update. And there we go. We now have the Illustrator icon that fits in with the rest of the UI. And if we switch to the other one, what we could then do is we could go and do the same thing for this one and call this Photoshop and then the same thing for layout and call that InDesign. So if you are coming from the Adobe suite of apps, then I don't know, maybe this will make things a little bit easier because a lot of the tools and the panels and the keyboard shortcuts are very similar. So yeah, if you would like to download this collection of icons, I will link it in the video description.